Welcome to Arabesque. Tonight we have brought you to the beautiful part of London that is South Kensington. We are at the Royal Geographical Society and we're here for the premiere of the documentary film Open Bethlehem. I left Bethlehem as a really teenager in a way, after, just after I finished school. And uh, I thought it was too small, too provincial. I wanted to have nothing to do with it. I wanted to live in big countries. And um, in 2004, when Israel started building the wall around Bethlehem, I felt very moved to make a film. I thought I'll go there for a year. It's my city after all. And it's uh, like a life-threatening development for the city. So I did go with the intention of making a film about the building of the wall for a year, document, documenting it. But I didn't realize that something, experiencing something like this will invariably go, will, will get under your skin. So once I started working on things, Bethlehem became a much bigger project for me. I got involved in a campaign uh, against the wall and the most maybe an unexpected development for me is that I ended up living for eight years in Bethlehem and effectively going back home and reconnecting with a town that I thought is small but also having one of the maybe life biggest changing experiences in the small town that I thought cannot give me much. When my father decided to return home, I was really excited. I thought he was taking me to the most amazing place in the world. We were heading to Palestine, to a little town called Bethlehem. This little hometown that I left has, uh, both regionally and also internationally, and how much its plight is going to influence the politics of the Middle East as well as maybe the whole world. What is really worth fighting for? And I think I felt that in the end the experience was much bigger for me. Fighting for Bethlehem, fighting for the most sacred human values than living in London, Paris or New York. We hope to reach, reach a lot of people both in the United Kingdom but also in the United States. And we hope to communicate to them the situation, obviously, in Bethlehem, but also so Bethlehem carries a voice with it, a voice for Palestine, so that Bethlehem can tell the story of Palestine, maybe in a way that poor little Palestine can't. We want to mobilize people to work with us, to compel people, to remind them that Bethlehem and Palestine are at the center of our world, at the center of our values, and the center of international law, and if this problem is not resolved, it affects and poisons everything in international relations. So we want to make sure that we make people work with us positively, constructively, towards a better world and a change in the Middle East. At the moment, we are inviting people to join seminars that they can learn about Bethlehem, uh, be more invested in the issue, uh, learn about the situation, uh, hopefully visit, so that they can genuinely be ambassadors for our city. This is my city, Bethlehem, the little town of the Bible. Although it stopped being home a long time ago, when I left at 18. Amazing. It brought so much tears to my eyes. I'm from there, so it means a lot to me. It's really amazing. Reminds me of how important it is to visit Bethlehem, um, what an important place it is in the world, and um, some of the real struggles that it's going through right now. 
I spent many years as an activist doing stuff in Palestine and I haven't for the last few years and I felt like, get off your bum and do something. So I just thought it was absolutely really moving. But to have a personal story and, and in the context of somebody who'd gone back there and stayed there was extremely helpful because yeah, we, we support the cause and it's given us more energy. We've been helping her out with the film for many years <laughs> so, so we've seen it evolve and it started out as Road to Bethlehem because it was all about the car um, and then it focused around Christmas and I think as events have changed historically then the films changed too and but I'd never seen it so emotionally told that story until tonight so I thought it was really yeah really powerful. Well what I found extremely moving about the film was the effect it's having on the citizens of Bethlehem and the uh, the sheer scale of the wall for me is an astonishing uh, phenomena of our time and really to see the, um, the human scale, the, the touch of the shopkeeper and uh, the people that are living despite all of these immense changes is, uh, is a story that really needs to be seen by as many people as possible. My hometown is a legend. This is um, a result of 10 years of my life and 10 years of my work and then a very emotional journey where that changed my life. So um, it's very gratifying, of course, to see that people responded so warmly to it, but also that what I wanted to achieve in the first place, which is reaching out to people to tell them about Be the situation in Bethlehem and the situation in Palestine. Um, it was probably a good idea. Uh, people often told me as I was working on it that it was over ambitious, but I'm glad that I stuck with it and that I brought it to um, a conclusion. Uh, do you have a Bethlehem passport? Oh, no, I don't have one, <laughs> but I probably deserve one. I don't, but I think I'm going to apply for one. <laughs> uh, no, we, we were going to get one. <laughs>